Hello YouTube, hello McTel, hello Red Pill. This is Red Pill on the Wind. And uh better yet. Right now I'm playing around with YouTube guidelines. <laughs> if I really wanted to play with them, it'd be something to this nature. <laughs> now, Money doesn't buy you happiness. It allows you to get the things to make you happy, to, to, to help you find happiness. Self-actualization. MGTOW, whether you're a monk, whether you're pump and dump, self-actualization is the key to allowing you to find your peace and quiet in your life. You've got to you've got to deal with your demons. You know, as a red pill man. As a MGTOW man as well. If you don't have the Things that allow you to. <laughs> that allow you to. To, to live comfortably. You live as comfortable as you can. You live as comfortable as you can. Live as comfortable as you can. You know, my badge. You live as comfortable as you can. Whether you pump and dump or your monk mode. You can't sit here and be angry because like the animal kingdom, a lion's gonna do what, is, what the lion's gonna do, a hyena's gonna do what the hyena's gonna do. A man, men are gonna do what men do and women are gonna do what women do. You have a choice in the matter on whether or not you want to partake. We as human beings are animals. Whether you like it or not. And with animals of intellect, if you can call it that, We have a choice on, we have a open choice on whether or not to follow our base nature. What am I sipping on? It's not as smooth as black, but it's a status symbol. It's a status symbol. How you doing today? You too, sir. Yeah. Get to enjoy life at its fullest. You know? I don't really much care about my channel. 
because I know the government's going to implement stop gaps to try to keep me from getting above a thousand. To that, <sighs> cheers. But while I'm at it, I'm going to enjoy this. I've already got to my goal on this channel. I've already got to my goal. That's the thing about life. You set goals. I've gotten to my goal on this channel, on my channel. I've gotten to my goals on life. That's, that's the thing. I got to my goals. I could back off right now and just be in just chill mode most of the time. And I've almost reached all of my goals. I just, just need this one hurdle that I need to get through in life. One hurdle. One hurdle. Five years is not a long time. But five years, you can do a lot. In one, but in one year, you can do a lot. That's the thing. One year, you can do a lot. Five years is not really a long time. As you get older. But what am I talking about? This first seven minutes was playing with the algorithm. <laughs> but you have to have a lot of peace and quiet in your life. You have to surround yourself with people that enjoy the same peace and quiet that you grew up with. Me, I'm a single man, no wife, no children. And I'm doing my best to live my best life. I'm doing my best to live my best life. You know? But, how, but the thing is, how do you get there? How do you get there? That's a good question. How did I go from being angry? How did I go from being angry to having found my peace to where nothing in the world really affects me? It's easy. It's not easy. It's hard, but it's easy at the same time. It's hard because you have to tackle your inner demons. And you have to accept that you have these demons. You have to accept that you know where these demons came from. And you have to tackle them one at a time. You have to learn that some demons just cannot be tamed in your life. You know, some demons cannot be tamed. Some demons are going to be there for the rest of your life. You know... As you see from my shot glass, 
even though I'm red pill MGTOW, women, even though I'm red pill MGTOW, women fascinate me. I've changed that rage, the anger, the frustration into observation. The thing is, women fascinate me. You're able to facilitate, you're able to become, you're able to grow a tree. But you are but you repeatedly fail to nurture a tree. We call this planet Mother Earth. We call the elements Mother Nature. But, we f but what you fail to emulate a mother You nurture necessity. Women nurture necessity. We call ships maidens because they shelter us from the sea. We call Mother Earth Mother Earth because Mother Earth shelters us from the cosmic rays, from the cosmic beings. We, women constantly, hey, Koda, off, sit, off, off, off. We off, off. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. I'm daytime drinking right now. Ugh. It's not for you, trust me. You try as you want. We fail to. You fail to be a nurturing character in a child's life. You fail to be a supportive person. Yep, leave it. In your, the man of your choice. You pick these dirtbag men to sire your children. The men that would have supported you. You leave them in the dust. And when they leave you in the dust, leave you behind to rot in your filth, you then want to get angry. You then want to throw spite, shade, tea, spill tea on men that didn't deserve it. Women fascinate me. It's fascinating that you have all these examples in nature of being nurturing to both your sons and your daughters at the same time, but yet you fail to look around you. You fail to pick the father of your child that is going to be around for life, 
for the life of your child. You think that because the kid reaches 18, 21, 25 years of age that you stop being a mother. You stop being a mother to your child. Because the father is not around. Sometimes even 16. Parenthood, once you bring a child in this world, that is your son, your daughter for life. And me, as a man who has never had a child, I understand that. And me, as a man who has never had a child and potentially never will have a child, I understand that. I've accepted the father. I accepted the fact that I'm never going to be a father. Now, there's a potential that I can be a father, but it is what it is. Like I said, in, the thing is, the older I get. the more I understand that these women the majority of these women in the West are not worthy yes they are baby mamas there's a difference between being a baby mama and being a mother it has nothing to do with governmental marriage because you can be with a woman and not be married. Marriage is nothing more than allowing the government into your house, into your abode. But yet everybody wants to be that. Expect not to be married. It's the cycle that you've created. We didn't create this. We didn't create this environment as men. We didn't create the men that your daughters are going to date, that your daughters are going to marry, that your daughters are going to be a part of. You did. When you removed us from the house, when you left all, when you got knocked up by that f boy. Yeah. When you got knocked up by that F boy. We didn't create this environment. We didn't create this environment of debauchery. We just basically said, okay, we're not, you saw us as not worthy. So, it is what it is. We tip my, I tip my hat and I drink to that. I just accept the fact that I'm just one of the people that could have been but wasn't. It's not about it's not about trying to be the whole moral thing. I cuz the thing is is like what's the point of morals when only one party thinks it? I could take the moral high ground. It, it's what it is. It's the moral high ground. But when I'm taking the moral high ground, I don't have to deal with you. I don't have to get married. I look, look what I got. I've worked hard for what I got. Yeah, it needs a little bit of work. But guess what? But guess what? It will it, it will come to fruition. It will become. I will basically do what I got to do. It will happen. This this will this it's gonna take some work. It's gonna be it's gonna be a challenge.
But guess what? I'm still going to enjoy my life. For, for how long I ever have this. This is Red Pill on the Wind signing off.